This is my new car. Audi. Um, my BMW is my first car. And this is my second car. God damn it. I didn't even lock it. My god. God, I didn't even lock my car. The, the Audi doesn't drive as well as the BMW 640. It feels lighter, less stable, especially when, uh, what do you call that, when maneuvering a corner, when, God, I lost my vocabulary for that. When taking down, when taking corners, uh, something like that, you know, um, it's kind of flip a bit more than a BM. BM is very stable. Now, as for the gear change, if you notice here, the gear change is also a bit jerky because when it goes up, you can feel the engine draws back a bit and it goes up to the you know higher gear and it goes up again. So, um, the RS for the BM, I don't feel like that at all when I drive. It just, you know, it's very smooth. The transition of the gear is perfectly smooth. Um, but if you look at this, this Audi A7 can have a, have a speedometer of 300 kilometers per hour. Now my BMW has a maximum of only 260. That is a lot of difference. Now that explains why some of the Audis can actually take on my BMW but seriously acceleration acceleration wise stability wise maneuvering corners BMW takes Audi hands down anytime that's my opinion uh, navigator gears there's no pedal shift It's only the gear, the gearbox, and uh, talk about Steptronic. Oh God, I miss my BM now. So I'm just gonna drive it for a few more days and I'm gonna go back to my BM again. This is my second car and I'm regretting it right now. I should have gotten a uh, Aston Martin or a Maserati. There you go, Eric, and out to you.